as well. It had a story to tell, which I don't remember what the story was about, but I remember really liking it. But um, Dr. Casey would never understand the deal I made with the collectors. He's obsessed with these proteins. He would sacrifice everything to learn their secrets. It nearly cost me my life, but I did it for you, Helen, to ensure you remain safe. The damned collectors agreed to spare your colony in exchange for this protein find. I can only hope you remain innocent of any of this ugly business. It was all for you. Dr. Robert Holloy. So he actually knew about the collectors then. Hmm. Well, why would the collectors want old protein stuff? I mean, it's their own long gone civilization, so. Are the protein or are the collectors? actually trying to revive the Protheans, their their former self or something, or are they trying to learn about who they were, or why would they want it? Or is it just so nobody, no other current civilization can uh, gain the knowledge? Well... Well, no. S All right, I guess. Well, exit out of that. Will it follow up on that, or that was kind of a weird ending? I'm not sure what to make of that. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Good, thanks. Historic discovery. The burst of energy that coincided with your retrieval of the Protean artifact contained coded information. Most of the data was beyond our ability to track, but the threats we were able to decrypt have provided new avenues for research on energy transfer and biotics. It will keep the scientists busy for years to come. The data indicated, indicates that the artifact is currently inert and not dangerous. We wonder, however, if Dr. Casey had more t wonder that if Dr. Casey had more time, would he have unlocked its secrets? We will continue his research. A landmark find for humanity. Good work, Shepard. Sweet. That was uh pretty good. That was good DLC. I'm guessing it's finished, but it sounds like we might run into the Doctor at some point though. So I'm not counting it as finished just yet. Not counting it. Okay, Kelly, is there... I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the oh, he seems to he be. just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Well, he does. Not too much, but he does. Well, goodbye for now. Considering the crew is probably fine, is right? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? No. That goodbye. I'll be here if you need anything. All right. So I think I'm going to call the set here. Kind of uh, set out to do. Well, I actually went into this first. Well, last week thinking I just, you know, finish Ilium. Then I figure out, hey, Firewalker's there. Then before the set, I actually find, well, the uh, Blood Pack base. So I think, well, I'll just do that and then continue on with the Firewalker, considering the previous DLC has not been long. But this actually took quite a while, I think. I'm not sure how long I'm actually recording now, but I think it's about two hours. I don't know. Seems a good moment anyway, considering uh, I'm kind of tired, so 
that's a good reason to call it. So let's quick save, and you know, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that because I wouldn't mind more DLC like that because that was fun. That was really good, and it uh, yeah, it was just really enjoyable. Even though the combat was a bit, mm, the auto aiming, ah, just bad, bad decision there. But oh well. You can't have it all. It's definitely an improvement over the Mako, so hey, no complaining here, even though I've been doing a lot of complaining, but shush. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time. See you, dudes.